Welcome back to Tesla Car World. In today's exciting episode, we're about to experience the first shockwave in the electric car market for early 2024. The much anticipated day has finally dawned. The Model 3 Highland is officially available for sale in North America, putting to rest any doubts from our dedicated fans about its release plan in this region. But that's not all. Buckle up as we dive deep into the 2024 Model Y's impressive upgrades. Our primary focus will be on the remarkable changes in pricing as Tesla ingeniously slashes production costs by $1,599 per vehicle. This development has ignited fervent speculation about the long-awaited Juniper variant, a topic that has kept enthusiasts on the edge of their seats since 2023. And in our grand finale, we'll unveil the breakthrough plans designed to maintain the dominance of these two exceptional models on Tesla's roads. How will Tesla flawlessly execute these impressive improvements? Stick around as we unravel the thrilling details in today's Today's episode of Tesla Car World. Before we begin though, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell icon so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. As we delve into Tesla's plans for 2024, the company has a knack for keeping some of the most intriguing details about its cars under wraps. Particularly noteworthy are the remarkable performances of the Model 3 and Y on the streets of the United States, potentially surprising owners and fans worldwide. Now, let's uncover the mystery. What unexpected modifications has Tesla brought to the Model 3 in 2024? Our anticipation for the Highland variant of the Model 3 has blossomed into reality as Tesla brings it to the United States. It's quite serendipitous that both the official Tesla website and channel have prominently showcased the Model 3's official release slated for early 2024. Following the details on the driving features update for the Model 3 Highland on the Tesla homepage, enthusiasts can now place orders and find their perfect fit. In the US, there are two enticing variants available. The standard rear-wheel drive version, which starts at $38,990, boasting an estimated driving range of 272 miles, while the long-range all-wheel drive variant priced at $45,990 offers an extended range of up to an impressive 341 miles on this new model. The surprise comes in the utilization of CATL battery technology for the standard model, ensuring robust performance. The long-range variant features a 2170 battery, and the noteworthy increase in operating range for the long range in the Highland model is truly remarkable. Although similarities are expected compared to the Model 3 Highland version in China, the new front fascia design, aiding significant aerodynamic improvements, has played a pivotal role in achieving this impressive extended range. Interestingly, when Tesla launched the upgraded Model 3 earlier this year, the performance variant was notably absent from the announcement. However, according to Tesla's Director of Vehicle Programs and New Product Introduction, who has been integral to the Model 3 program for the past eight years, it will make a return in early 2024, promising some pretty special upgrades. Recalling the introduction of the first global Model 3 performance in 2017, Tesla acknowledged leaving some special elements on the design table during what Elon Musk described as production hell. The delayed appearance ensures that standard Model 3 variants take precedence for large-scale sales upon the car's initial launch in the U.S. market in 2024. While specific details about the Model 3 performance remain undisclosed, it will retain the performance moniker, despite recent leaks suggesting the plaid badge. Expectations include a dual-motor configuration with one upgraded to the tri-motor setup from the Model S and X, enhancing acceleration and achieving higher top speeds. Performance suspension, brake components, and a new 20-inch wheel design are also in the cards. The wait for the Model 3 upgrade on US roads won't be lengthy, with the manufacturer's estimated delivery suggesting you can have your car within approximately one to two months of placing an order. Reviews for the Model 3 Highland are overwhelmingly positive, not just from critics, but also from owners who deem it an extraordinary electric vehicle. Tesla has diligently addressed previous criticisms regarding the suspension system and sound insulation, incorporating more soundproof windshields to reduce the sensation of noise while driving. 
Having scrutinized the impressive changes made to the upgraded Model 3 in the US market, let's now redirect our focus to another fascinating trend shaping the automotive market in the US. How popular is the Model Y expected to become in North America in 2024? In the early months of 2024, Tesla initiated a notable adjustment to a key component of the entertainment system in the rear-wheel drive version of the Model Y. This change involved a reduction in the number of speakers, possibly as a cost-saving measure, initially equipped with 15 speakers, two amplifiers, and a single subwoofer since its debut, the Model Y saw a reduction to 14 speakers in 2021. However, the latest version, produced starting January of 2024, takes a more significant step by eliminating more than half of the speakers, resulting in only seven speakers, a single amplifier, and no subwoofer compared to previous iterations. Tesla implemented this change quietly, prompting entry considering the departure from the previously lauded setup of 13 speakers, including a subwoofer and two amplifiers, a notable shift in Tesla's audio delivery for this model. This adjustment raises valid questions about its impact on the overall sound experience, especially as Tesla places emphasis on audio quality as an integral part of the driving experience. The company has invested substantially in audio technology, leveraging expertise from premium audio brands like Bang & Olufsen. While this could be seen as a cost-cutting measure, it might go unnoticed by many during the car purchase process, only to be realized later when notified that the new vehicle lacks seven basic speakers and an audio amplifier. According to information from aftermarket accessory sources, upgrading the audio system in the Model Y or Model 3 could cost $1,599, adding both the speaker designs and some weight to the component. Therefore, this move could aid Tesla in saving a smaller amount of money and assembly time during production. It's worth noting that this update specifically targets the North American versions of the Model Y RWD. Versions produced at Giga Shanghai or Giga Berlin still retain the premium audio sound system. Additionally, the long-range and performance variants of the Model Y continue to feature the original 13-speaker system, including a subwoofer and dual amplifiers. As of now, Tesla has not specified which seven speakers remain in the modified audio setup of the Model Y RWD. Despite potential concerns about falling below previous standards, high-quality surround sound is expected to be present. With this change recently added to the website, it may take some time before the first deliveries of the Model Y with the updated audio system occur, allowing for comprehensive evaluations of the new sound quality. Interestingly, the removal of certain designs that might be less significant to consumers could contribute to increased performance in the standard Model Y variant due to its lighter weight. This development coincides with Tesla's revision of the estimated range for all EV variants after subjecting them to more rigorous EPA real-world driving tests, providing a more accurate assessment of efficiency under higher speeds and challenging conditions. While unraveling the intricacies of Tesla's audio system adjustments would easily take up this whole episode, let's start shifting our focus and explore the latest developments and whereabouts of the Model Y Juniper project. In tandem with the adjustments to the Model Y, we can't ignore the anticipation surrounding the fully refreshed Model Y, codenamed Juniper. Major updates are set to dominate social media platforms in 2024, and there are indications that Tesla is exploring entirely new colors for the Model Y at Giga Texas. For many of us, this prospect adds a layer of appeal to the Model Y, especially as we eagerly await the refresh. Adding to the allure, Tesla might unveil entirely new features in 2024, including an optional capability. The Fremont Car Factory in California and Giga Texas have upgraded their Model Y paint shops to introduce two new paint color options, Stealth Gray and Ultra Red. All new Tesla Model Y orders will now include Stealth Gray as a standard option, replacing Midnight Silver Metallic. The previous red multi-coat color is supplanted by the Ultra Red option, with an additional cost of $2,000. These new color choices bring a sophisticated and classic look, particularly for individuals inclined towards deeper colors. Rumors are circulating about potential additional changes, mirroring Tesla's strategies in China. Giga Shanghai is slated to release a refreshed Model why in 2024 as competition intensifies in this populous market. Mass production is expected to commence in mid-2024 with a temporary pause in the production line for upgrades during the traditional Chinese New Year holiday period.
The 2024 refresh of Tesla's Model Y promises significant changes compared to the models introduced in October of 2023. Expect notable updates to both the exterior and interior, including new wheel design and a front fascia featuring an RGB lighting system surrounding the inside, reminiscent of the Model 3 Highland Edition. As Tesla prepares to compete with emerging EV units in China, including competitors like BYD and Xpeng, the new Model Y will be a key player. The China Passenger Car Association reports a 40% increase in sales of new energy vehicles in November, reaching an impressive 841,000 units. While the news about the Model Y Juniper is not entirely novel, the prospect of exterior improvements and performance upgrades is certainly exciting. However, Tesla faces a somewhat challenging situation with limited action until the new Model 3 Highland is introduced in the United States. It appears to be a waiting period until the refreshed sedan makes its debut in the North American market. With the upcoming Model Y Juniper project generating buzz with fresh color options and potential new features, how will Tesla position itself in the competitive EV market, especially with the imminent release of a refreshed Model Y in China in 2024? Are the exterior enhancements and performance upgrades enough to maintain Tesla's edge considering the growing sales of new energy vehicles in markets like China. New data underscores the continued growth of the EV market in the United States throughout 2023. Notably, Tesla emerged as a front-runner, selling a remarkable total of 654,888 vehicles in the U.S., securing its lead in the battery electric vehicle market. The company's global sales exceeded 1.8 million units, marking a substantial contribution to the overall expansion of the EV market. With the upcoming introductions of the Cybertruck, Model 3 Highland, and Model Y Juniper in the U.S., Tesla aims to further stimulate the market and reach its ambitious goal of 2.5 million units. Tesla typically reports combined global sales figures for the Model 3 and Model Y as well as other models. However, breaking down the sales figures for each model reveals nuanced stories and significant details beneath the surface. Firstly, Tesla's claim of producing electric vehicles like the Model 3 and Y every 39.62 seconds showcases exceptional progress in 2023 with a 95% automated production line. This represents a remarkable leap from taking two and a half years to produce the first million EVs to achieving the next million in just 12 months. Following similar patterns, another million vehicles are expected to roll off the production line by mid-2024, allowing Tesla to conclude another year with over 2 million electric vehicles aligning with their electrification plan. Secondly, the market share of the Tesla Model 3 standard range dominated the Model 3 sales in the US throughout 2023. This shift is attributed to Tesla's production focus on this variant given constraints on 2170 cells for manufacturing more long-range versions. While range was previously a pivotal criterion for EV buyers, Tesla's swift expansion of its supercharger network addresses a top concern for potential EV owners, charging availability and convenience. With over 5,000 supercharger stalls added within 110 days and continuous deployment of supercharger version 3, Tesla's network has become a vital backbone for drivers offering fast, reliable, and widespread charging solutions. Tesla's strategic decision to open up its supercharger network is noteworthy. By expanding accessibility to all EVs and adopting compatibility measures like the Magic Dock, which enables compatibility with combined charging system adapters, Tesla is turning its supercharger network into a universal charging solution, solidifying its position as the gas station of the future world. Y'all want anything? At the current pace, Tesla is projected to have over 70,000 supercharger stalls by the end of 2024, demonstrating a bold commitment to making electric vehicle usage convenient, reliable, and globally accessible. The expansion not only represents a numerical achievement, but also underscores Tesla's intent to drive electric vehicle adoption. In conclusion, Tesla's implementation of price reductions in 2023 aims to stimulate higher demand for vehicle sales in 2024, offering customers more affordable options. As you consider your choices, we welcome your comments below and value your input. Which one are you most excited for? Anyways, as we conclude today's discussion on Tesla's Model 3 and Y updates, let's delve into a notable development, the conversion of stop mode to hold mode. What drives Tesla's decision to implement this change, and how does it impact the driving experience?
Tesla is making changes to the stopping modes on the new Model 3 and Y, reportedly removing two of the three existing modes, Creep and Roll. This modification will not occur through wireless software updates, but will be implemented in the new Model 3 Highland and Model Y Juniper 2024 vehicles produced after the 1st of January. It's important to note that this adjustment specifically targets the US market. The removal of Creep and Roll modes aligns with Tesla's ongoing efforts to enhance efficiency and improve the user experience for their electric vehicles. In conjunction with this change, Tesla has updated the estimated range for the Model S, X, and Y, reflecting undisclosed improvements aimed at enhancing battery efficiency and aligning with EPA testing methods, resulting in higher consumption figures. The elimination of less efficient stopping modes on new vehicle modes is a strategic move to meet current EPA requirements where manufacturers must average different acceleration modes to determine the EPA estimate. Tesla's lineup is renowned for its single pedal driving capability, allowing drivers to primarily use the accelerator pedal for both acceleration and deceleration through regenerative braking. The stopping modes, including creep, roll, and hold, offer varying behaviors for the driver during deceleration. Creep mode simulates the behavior of an automatic transmission, allowing the vehicle to move slowly in drive or reverse without pressing the accelerator. Roll mode enables the vehicle to move freely near or when completely stopped, akin to a vehicle in neutral. On the other hand, hold mode is considered the most popular and efficient among these three, providing a superior driving experience, especially for those new to Tesla's one-pedal driving method. But what exactly is regenerative braking, you may ask? Regenerative braking is a way of saving energy when you slow down or stop your electric car. Instead of using the normal brakes, which make heat and waste energy, the electric motor turns into a generator and makes electricity. This electricity goes back to the battery and makes the car go further. Tesla cars have a screen that shows you how much energy you are using or saving. When you go faster, you use more energy. When you let go of the gas pedal, Pedal, you save more energy. Tesla cars also have different modes of regenerative braking. Standard mode is stronger and lets you drive with one pedal. Low mode is weaker and makes the car glide more. Some drivers like low mode when roads are slippery or when they are new to electric cars. Regenerative braking is a cool feature that makes electric cars better and greener than gasoline-powered cars. It also makes driving more fun and easy as you can control the speed of the car with one pedal. Regenerative braking, a key aspect of electric driving, may take some time to get used to, but it plays a crucial role in ensuring optimal performance in your Tesla. Considering this reasonable arrangement, what are your thoughts on the removal of creep and roll modes? Would you consider waiting to own a Model Y Juniper or a Model 3 Highland with these changes? Again, your input is valuable and we invite you to share your perspective. Otherwise, we hope this video provided you with a sense of relaxation. If it resonated with you, kindly show your support by liking the video and joining the the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to the channel. Be sure you don't miss any of our fantastic content by hitting the bell icon. Your feedback and time are immensely appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life.